And finally, in the bulletin, school children at a young age have many aspirations for their future careers. However, around 500 students from schools around the UAE got a chance to test their creativity and run their own Formula One teams in a competition. More than 70 teams from different schools took part in the international F1 in schools competition, where they were responsible for running their F1 teams as an enterprise project. They applied their design and technology skills to manage the budgets, markets and brand their enterprises, as well as seek sponsorship whilst they created their miniature compressed air-powered Bolsawood F1 cars to be raced in the competition. The teams have been participating in the professional, rookie and primary bloodhound categories over the three-day event, which will allow them a chance to represent the UAE in the World's World F1 in Schools finals to be held in Abu Dhabi later this year. According to the organisers, the event shows that F1 is more of a community event than just a sport, as it develops the children's teamwork and leadership skills. This is a very uh, good uh, channel to engage uh, the students at a young age and give them some elements of the F1 uh, experience. So you will find the teams come together and uh, really function as an F1 team from the driving elements, from the design, from uh, the financials. You will have one of the team members responsible for the financials, putting the budget together, get sponsors, and uh, enable all of this to happen. So it's really, we are really excited about it. It gives them uh, education element uh, that's associated with what they get in schools, in addition to a real life experience. The participants, aged between 9 and 19, are required to form a team and decide job roles to run the projects, which includes roles of a team manager, manufacturing engineer, design engineer, graphic designer and resource manager. For the students, the event offered an exciting opportunity to test their engineering and IT skills, to learn about the physics and aerodynamics of their creations, together with marketing and media skills, and apply them in a practical and competitive way. So with our team, we wanted to go with blue, obviously with like the ocean palette, but still remain a professional looking team with a sleek design and just basically looking as eye-catching as, as possible. The car has an aerodynamic plow. It is called nicknamed the plow by our, our car designer. And what it, the reason for the plow is um, instead of cutting through the air or piercing the air, instead it pushes the air down towards the base of the car and then it cuts through the air. So it just minimizes drag and makes the car easier to go through the air. And hopefully we'll get a fast car at fast time. The most aerodynamic thing is a bullet and we tried to base the body mostly on that. And then we, I, then we came up with our very own front wing as we are allowed to do according to the rules. And when we looked at the rules thoroughly, it, hours and hours and hours. And then we came up with the car design. It's perfect length, it's perfect weight, it's awesome. It's awesome. This is my third year doing F1. And whenever I come, I'm always nervous, but I always know that we're always going to succeed in some level, even if we don't win anything. When designing the car, um, we tried to make it as aerodynamic as possible. We did lots and lots of research on how to make it really aerodynamic and reduce drag. Considering sponsorship, it was definitely very difficult to get sponsorship. Um, we tried lots and lots of companies, but obviously lots of companies, lots of big companies would not want to um, sponsor a small group doing a school project. But luckily we came across Abu Dhabi Terminals, who generously offered us full sponsorship as they were very interested in the project and we're very grateful for them.